Hello, I am responding to the video. Uh, I'm the guy in the video that came to visit, and I wanted to uh, just respond to clear up any issues of factuality with the video. So, uh, first of all, I did go there. It was for a National Geographic shoot. I came in with a wrench, and I wanted them to reproduce the wrench. At least that was the uh, setup of the shoot. And so I went in, and there are two separate technologies they have. One is 3D printing. And the way that worked is there is an image in a design program, like a CAD program, something that's used in architecture, and that 3D computer image can be printed. And the printing uses, in their case, some powder, like a plaster, and the ink is some adhesive. And they just brush the computer printer, I mean the printer brushes layers of powder and then prints a cross section of the image on the powder, which is the adhesive, and as it keeps putting layers of power, the glue holds exactly that shape at each level. And so what we printed was a template wrench, an image they already have in the computer. Now the other technology they have is scanning, and they that little scanner does scan objects and is extremely precise. But as I think a number of you noticed, uh, there's no way it could have gotten the internal structure of the wrench. And so that was crap. The implication that that thing that we scanned was the thing we printed was wrong. That is not what happened. Um, and that piece was edited in such a way that that's what you were, you were supposed to believe. And I think that was a very unfortunate thing and uh, was a mistake. And the, uh, the one thing I could say, though, is that if you scan in an image, into, you can import it into one of these design programs, and then you could manipulate it. So in principle, you could take the scanned wrench and import it into a program, and then fix the internal part that the scanning didn't get, and do any other changes you want, and then you have this image, uh, 3D image, that you can print out. And so I would say the printing part, image to 3D object, is true. Uh, at least that I saw it. I hit print, and uh, it worked, and I watched it happen. And the scanning part is a true thing, but it had nothing to do with the wrench we printed out. Um, in addition, there were questions about the strength of the wrench itself. Um, I could tighten reasonably well and tight enough that I couldn't undo it by hand uh, that bolt, that nut. Um, but I did try at one point to tighten it as hard as I possibly could and I did break the wrench uh, at the point where it grips the nut. So uh, that you did not see and that is true. Uh, there are ways of making the wrench stronger, I am told. Um, but I didn't witness any other parts of it. And you should contact the Z Corporation to find out what's true. Um, it's, it's an exciting technology, and I, you can get emotional about it and, and stuff, but if you really want to find out what's true, you know, investigate more. And, uh, and, I, and you should possibly also contact National Geographic and tell them that they need to get their act together. So thanks. Uh, let me want to add one thing, uh, which is, I appeared in the show, therefore I bear responsibility for what happened there, the fact that it was inaccurate, and I apologize, and I'm fully responsible for not pushing them to really reproduce something that was totally accurate. I asked them to, but I did not force the issue, uh, and I apologize for that, and I hope um, this little response gives enough of the extra information so that you know what, at least have a better idea of what's factually true. Thanks.